Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to find the area of some figures. And of course, we cannot get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. I think this is his favorite subject. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> we're doing your favorite subject. It's finding area. Oh, God. Yeah, he likes these, doesn't he? All right, Charlie, quit fooling around. Here we go, right here. Here's our first figure right here. Okay, Charlie, here's our figure. That was five centimeters, 10 centimeters, one centimeter, and that six centimeters, and those two side lengths are missing. Now, this figure is the same one in the perimeter video. So to find those missing side lengths, you have to go back to the perimeter video to get a detailed explanation. For now, we're just gonna say that each of them were found to be four and four. So go back to that perimeter video and watch it before you watch this one. All right, Charlie, here we go. We have our shape, we're gonna find the area. So let's take our shape and let's center it right here, nice and big for you. And we're gonna break it up into two separate rectangles. Now, some people uh, like to take the approach where they build this big rectangle and then they subtract a littler one from it to do this. Yeah, that will work fine on this particular figure, which is relatively simple, but we wanna learn how to break up these shapes into separate rectangles because later on the semester, the figures will get a little bit more complicated and you're gonna separate them into pieces where you'll have a rectangle here, a semicircle here, and a triangle over here. So our goal is to learn how to separate this into rectangles. So the way I'm gonna do this, Charlie, is I'm gonna cut this right there. And I'm gonna make two rectangles. This is rectangle one and that's rectangle two. Now, the dimensions for rectangle one, it's five high and four across. So I don't need that four over there. My dimensions for rectangle one are five by four. And for rectangle two, Charlie, I can see that rectangle two is six centimeters long and one centimeter in its width. And so we don't need that 10. That 10 went all the way across. We don't need that. Now what I'm going to do, Charlie, is separate these rectangles for you. So here we go. Watch them. There they go. Ooh. Separated. Now we have two rectangles and all we gotta do is find the area of each individual rectangle and then sum them up to get our final answer. Here we go, Charlie. What's the formula for area for a rectangle? Length times width. Length times width, that's right. So area one will be length times width or base times height, depending on how you were taught. And so our dimensions are four centimeters by five centimeters, okay? So we'll put four centimeters times five centimeters. Remember, by the commutative property, four times five is the same as five times four. So you can put it in any order you want. Okay, now, what's four times five, Charlie? 20. 20. Now, don't forget, you have dimensions here. And we have centimeters times centimeters. So, some people like to think of it as, okay, centimeters times centimeters is centimeters with an exponent, a two. And that's how it's written. It's centimeters with a little exponent, two. But that means centimeters squared. Dimensions for area are always something squared. Since our side lengths were given in centimeters, it's centimeters squared. If our side lengths were given in inches, it would be inches squared. If your side lengths were in feet, it would be feet squared. But since we're given centimeters, our dimensions are centimeters squared. So the area of this rectangle is 20 centimeters squared, okay? Now, let's go to rectangle two. Area two is six centimeters times one centimeter, or one centimeter times six centimeters. Okay, what's six times one, Charlie? Six. Six, and how do you write centimeters times centimeters? Centimeters squared. Centimeters squared, squared that's right. And so, to get our total area, we're gonna sum up area one and area two. So, area one plus area two is 20 plus six centimeters squared, which gives us 26 centimeters squared, and there's our answer there. 26 centimeters squared. Very nice there, Charlie. All right. Now, let's go to a more complicated problem. Don't get scared. Here it comes, Charlie. There you go. Oh, you like that one too, huh? All right, don't worry. We'll just work at it and it'll be really easy. Watch. We're gonna break it up into rectangles. Now notice there are two missing side lengths. And again, this figure was used in the perimeter video. So to find those missing lengths, side lengths, go back to the perimeter video. But this one was found to be five inches and that one was found to be 14 inches. Notice our dimensions are given in inches, so since we're finding area, our dimensions will be inches squared. All right, 
So let's center this for you, John. Let's put it over here so you can see it really big. And we're going to break it up into pieces. Watch. We're going to make a cut up here and then a cut down here. And I'm going to call that top rectangle one, this one down here, two, and this one over here, three. Very nice there. Okay. Now, my top rectangle, Charlie, how long is it? 17. 17. And how wide is it? Four. Four. So that 14, I don't need right there. Rectangle one, length 17, width four inches. Now, rectangle two over here. How tall is rectangle two, Charlie? Five. It's that five inches. Now, that 11 inches runs all the way up and down. We don't need that. But we do have to find out how wide that is. And to find that width, you should go back to the perimeter video, right? If you're having problems finding it, it is three inches. Well, from here, notice the whole bottom length here is 10, and that one's seven. So that length right there should be three. That's three inches. That's how we found it in the perimeter video. And so that takes care of uh, the dimensions for rectangle two. Now, rectangle three. How long is rectangle three, Charlie? Ten. It's ten, and its width is two. two. So that seven, we don't need. This is the way I broke it up. And so we have three separate rectangles, Charlie. Now, hold on. We're going to separate it again. Here we go. Quit fooling around over there, Charlie. This is serious stuff here. All right. Okay. Let's find the area of each individual rectangle now. Remember, what's the formula for area, Charlie? Length times width. Length times width. So for rectangle one, the area is 17 inches times 4 inches. Now, 17 times 4. Remember, we don't use calculators in the first half of this class. So you better not be using the calculator. Right? You don't want to become one of those calculator kids, do you? No. We want to not use a calculator for the first half, the second half, when we get to the more complicated problems, we will be using a calculator. Now, you can use a calculator now to check your answers, but let's talk about 17 times 4. Let's try to visualize this and try some kung fu. Watch. OK, here we go. Visualize in our mind. We have 17 times 4, right? That's what we have there, 17 times 4. Now, think of the 17 in the expanded form, meaning 17 is 10 plus 7. And we're multiplying 10 plus 7 times 4. So each, the 10 and the 7, have to be distributed to the 4, right? It's a distributive property. So what's 10 times 4, Charlie? 40. 40. What's 7 times 4? 28. 28. And what's 40 plus 28? 68. 68. That is 17 times 4. So that is one approach. OK, rectangle 2. Its area is just 3 inches times 5 inches, or 5 inches times 3 inches by the commutative property for multiplication. And we get 15 inches squared. Don't forget your dimensions. Now, rectangle 3, Charlie, that's 10 inches times 2 inches, which should be easy. That's what? 20, 20 inches squared. And now, to find the total area, we have to sum up these individual areas. So our area total, we have to take 68 plus 15 plus 20. And you can add those in any order. Well, one approach would be 15 plus 20 is what, Charlie? 15 plus 20? 35. 35 inches squared, and adding that to 68. So think about this. 68 plus 35. Well, 60 and 30 is 90, and 8 and 5 is 13. And so 90 and 13 is 103. Again, that's one approach. Or you can just write them in a column and just do it, right? Add all the numbers up, get your answer. It should be 103 inches squared. Don't forget its area, so the dimensions. It has two dimensions. It's 103 inches squared. Anyway, it's a tough problem there. Anyway, we got through it. We'll see you all again soon.